Now when outputting from speed edit, we can output in real time uh, coming out of the Firewire port and again feeding a camera and then using that camera to feed a monitor. We also do support the Black Magic line of cards and we also support the VT card and if you're using Speed Edit 2 inside of a TriCaster XD product then of course you can use the TriCaster's inputs and outputs to get video in and out of Speed Edit as well. Now if we want to render the final output from Speed Edit we'll go to the file pull down and we'll choose render and from here we're going to be able to navigate to where we want to render the final product so we can go to our C drive, go to content, go to HD video clips, and then of course we can give it a name. Go ahead and call it Lightwave Montage. And now I can choose the format or I can choose a preset. Now the formats allow me to choose Flash or uh, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, Uncompressed, QuickTime, AVI, DV, WMV, uh, I can also compress down to audio formats like MP3 and WAVE. You can also choose a preset allowing you to go out to a TriCaster DDR uh, with and without Alpha Channel. We have some DV presets for going out in NTSC. We have Nutex Codec Speed HQ allowing you to go out in standard def or just go out in the project size. So we can go out in standard def or high def, of course. Uh, we can go out uncompressed. We've got some PAL presets and even some presets for things like Nintendo Wii and YouTube. So a lot of different presets in here. And you can, of course, create your own custom preset using the customize window and then save that preset. So have have that preset to work with from that point forward. Once you've chosen your preset and finished customizing it, you're ready to render by hitting the render button. You'll see the render window come up and when the render window is complete, your final render is ready for playback. You have a few other options when exporting. Well, we do have the ability to render out just a still image. So instead of rendering the entire video, we can choose uh, just one still that we want to render and render in a variety of file formats. We can send out to DB tape so we can go out through the Firewire uh, port and control the camera and go ahead and record our video back to DV tape. We have the ability to import and export an EDL or edit decision list so we could export our project and then load it up in another nonlinear editor. And we also have the ability to export chapter markers and this will look at the project and I went ahead and I placed some markers in the project, not on the clips but in the project and these could be used as chapter markers for your DVD authoring system. And again we can come up here and we can say we want to export the chapter markers. We can choose where we want to export them to and it's going to go ahead and export a file that can be used by DVD authoring systems and uh, automatically put your chapter points into your video.